two years ago, lost our federal protections against anti-abortion legislation and personhood legislation. And I am definitely not a legal expert, so I understand it from a, a very simple aspect. Roe v. Wade was a case that protected right to privacy and therefore the decision making between a doctor and the patient about whether or not they could consider a termination of a pregnancy. And while there's lots of different laws across the state, this federal protection allowed everybody to, to have that right to privacy, being able to make a decision about a pregnancy with their doctor. And once that was overturned in early 2022, it was leaked in May and then I think actually overturned in June. This is, yeah. this is why we're talking. It's an anniversary of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. It became more up to the states. And then a lot of states had these things called trigger laws and a lot of states had other laws that were, are designed to supposedly control and restrict access to a certain type of abortion, the lay definition of abortion, which is elective termination of a viable unwanted pregnancy, which a lot of people feel it is not necessary. I, I don't think that's really true, but there is this stigma around that procedure. The problem is, is this is a medical procedure and this is healthcare. So what we've ended up with is really bad medical care. Like we have, all these states have passed laws that don't recognize the standards of medical care. And they've created the situation where we've literally legislated malpractice and we're criminalizing standard yeah. medical care. So doctors and pharmacists and nurses are all afraid to do the right thing by their patient for fear of losing their license, going to jail, paying huge fines. It's really an untenable situation because healthcare decisions are already very complicated and never black and white. And that, that decision making has to be really follow standard medical care, follow the data and weigh the risks and the benefits for, you know, between the patient and the doctor. And it's really tough. And then to have these laws kind of saying what's correct and what standard is actually illegal has been a nightmare and is leading to a lot of complications and increased death rates. And people think it's only affecting pregnant women, but it is affecting the entire healthcare system. So that means it's affecting men and children.